I worked as pure Oracle DBA from 2001 to 2015 and then transitioned to being a cloud engineer. One question I'm always asked is what it takes to do that transition. How long does it take? How hard it is? In this video, I'm going to share my journey of transition from Oracle DBA to cloud engineer and share the lessons learned plus some tips to make this transition smooth. Being a DBA or database administrator is a specialized field and Oracle DBA more so. Whereas being a cloud engineer is way more generic and the boundaries are fuzzy. As Oracle DBA, you mostly focus on databases and somewhat on underlying operating system with a touch of storage perhaps, and that's about it. Whereas in cloud engineering, there is no set scope. You have to know architecture, engineering principles, networking, databases, DevOps, coding, cybersecurity, hyperscale, serverless, numerous cloud services, cross cloud stuff, Kubernetes, migration, and also a strong communication skills with business and other stakeholders and much more. How do you deal with such a broad and deep field? And especially if you're coming from a specialized field. Charlie Munger is a vice chairman of Berkshire Hathaway, the conglomerate controlled by Warren Buffett. At the age of 99, Charlie Munger is one of the sharpest mind alive with no nonsense approach. Charlie Munger believes that the key to his own success lies in being a generalist in a world of specialists. In 1994, at University of Southern California, Charlie said that, and I quote, the first rule is that you can't really know anything if you just remember isolated facts and try and bang them back. If the facts don't hang together on a lattice work of theory, you don't have them in a usable form. You have got to have models in your head and you have got to array your experience, both vicarious and direct, on this lattice work of models. You, have, you may have noticed students who just try to remember and pound back what is remembered. Well, they fail in school and fail in life. You have got to hang experience on a lattice work of models in your head. Okay, the key word in Charlie's speech chunk, which I have just narrated, is lattice work of models. To become, a, to become a successful cloud engineer, you have to develop a lattice work of model to excel. In life of a cloud engineer, you have to make plenty of decisions. Building mental models are helpful in enabling you to make better decisions. Mental models are key ideas from each discipline. For example, networking, databases, DevOps, cybersecurity, etc. It's a framework of worldview you have in your mind to help you understand how the technical landscape works in any organization of any size, whether medium, small, or large. Traditionally, as Oracle DBA, we focus on database architecture, database security, database client server model, database query, and how it interacts with the operating system. Information about each of these areas is compartmentalized in our brain. This learning is helpful, but not sufficient to easily transition to become a cloud engineer. That is why we have to learn big ideas from all the related knowledge fields like networking, databases, DevOps, cybersecurity, and integrate them to see how a holistic picture is formed. So how do I became cloud engineer from Oracle DB? Well, in 2015, a client reached out to me and asked me to migrate their test Oracle database to RDS. I had no clue on earth what RDS was. The only RDS I knew at that time was respiratory distress syndrome, as one of my mates here in Sydney was suffering from it. Anyway, a bit of a digging opened the shocking world of cloud managed databases. I was a bit familiar of AWS and S3, but reading through what AWS relational database service was shook me to the core. AWS RDS is a managed related relational database service with features including automatic patching, multi-AZ deployment, read replicas, and much, much more. I straight away knew that I was on the cusp of being obsolete. 
from an expert in Oracle Database Administration, I was suddenly a beginner in the cloud. So these are the steps which I took to transition from Oracle DBA to cloud engineering. While working with Oracle databases and related technologies for more than a decade, I came to appreciate the Oracle documentation. That was my singular most important source of truth and source of help whenever I needed something to learn or fix. So AWS documentation was the first point where I looked into when I started learning about what the heck AWS was, what the cloud was, and what were all the services. So AWS documentation was a natural place, my first starting point, and I wasn't disappointed at all. AWS documents are grossly underrated. So I would highly recommend, highly suggest you to go through them. Then comes the architecture. No matter which technology you are pursuing, always first understand the architecture of that technology. So I learned about what AWS is, what cloud concepts are, what is well-architected framework of AWS, regions and zones. And just to set the record straight, I started in AWS as a cloud as a cloud engineer, but I also applied the same principles when I was learning Google Cloud. So you can apply the same principles, whether it is AWS, GCP, Azure, Alibaba Cloud, IBM Cloud, or whatever. Right. Next thing which I did was to use the centuries old technique of divide and conquer. I started reading about RDS, but it wasn't making much sense early on, as it was tightly integrated with compute, storage, identity access management, and various other technologies. And I didn't know what they were at that time. So I divided AWS Cloud and its concepts into broad categories like networking, compute, storage, databases, IAM, infrastructure as code, and miscellaneous services, and then started reading about them. Next thing which I highly recommend is to not only just read the documents and concepts, but, but also play with them. I got signed up for free account in AWS and started doing what I was reading. Painful and slow process for sure, but there is no other way to learn and retain. So what resources did I use to learn? Well, um, apart from AWS documentation, I watched lots and lots of YouTube videos. I Googled stuff, read various blogs and websites. I did AWS free courses, which are still available on their website and improving a lot. That is more than enough. If you combine these AWS docs with practical, I think you should well on your way to learn it. One of the hallmarks which I have always followed is being a lazy engineer. Automation is your friend. There is so much to do in cloud. So focus on automation, write some scripts and then let them do the work. Learn infrastructure as code learns what CID, CICD pipeline is, whether it is in AWS or any other technology, learn some scripting. And in scripting, uh, you can go with Python, JavaScript, which is Node.js, or um, even Bash, the shell, and then PowerShell, but at least learn one of them. Also make sure you are aware of what configuration management is, how to automate it, the tooling such as um, Ansible, or if you are AWS specific, AWS SSM. And then last but not least, practice, practice, and practice. Did I tell you uh, to do what you were reading? Well, I cannot stress it enough. So get your hands steady. I know the transition is daunting at first as there is so much to learn, but you have to start somewhere. Don't delay, just start and keep chipping on it. You don't have to learn everything together in one day and there is no deadline. Just grow with it, evolve with it, Go with the flow. As you make progress, the pieces will start falling into their place and everything will start making sense. You will get a grip within a few months. It's all about compounding of knowledge. You will be learning from disparate sources and it will all synergize into a whole. So just do it. <laughs>